So Martin is looking for a wrench. He can't find it, so he's going to go home to his apartment, which is five minutes away. It's about close. Five minutes? Yes. Yeah. So I, I will be sitting here, sunning myself. Today's episode. How do you do, Interwabas? And welcome, welcome to Stories of My Life. So, today you're in for a treat. Yesterday was kind of a treat as well. Every day with me is a treat, right? Ah, he said. But yesterday, Martin II, who's been away visiting his parents for a week, I'm not sure. He visited them in Skåne, which is sort of an area in the south of, south of Sweden. He arrived yesterday. I think you saw that in my stories. And today he's invited me to go to his boat club. Yes, he's a member of a boat club to have lunch and a swim. So I've made food. Now I'm going to get on my bike. Oh, hopefully it's not too cold because it's been sunny, but really cold here in Sweden. Well, it's time to get on that bike and just... Oh, this is a fantastic hat. To get on that bike and just go, 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 go until you get the destination and get into the water and you eat your lovely salad that you made yourself. So I live in an area in Stockholm called Midsommarkransen. We are now passing through another, the closest area there is to that, that's called Aspudden, which is also really nice. They have this sort of old city feeling to it. They've got a centre, shops, and uh, it's not just a place for you to sort of come home to work and just go to your apartment. You can actually sort of live here. And I meant that in a way sort of you have stuff to go to, restaurants, um, shops. And I'm going to tell you about a name that Ulf, my friend Ulf and I tried to sort of brand this area with but I don't think it worked because we didn't sort of push it. We thought we'd call this area GLAM. I keep talking too much. GLAM is an acronym of Gröndal, Liljeholmen, Asbudden and Missmarkansen. Yeah, didn't catch on. It's kind of weird this July or the couple of weeks that's been a week. Instead of getting hotter it's gotten colder. No, it's quite chilly. I'm not sure if I'm going to go into the water. Well, maybe I will. Maybe the water is hotter than the air. People, here he is, Martin, ready for a day of sun and swimming and foodish. And lunching. And lunching. Let's go. I need to warm up my food. Oh. It's okay? We yeah. So people, this is the boat club. In here is the boat house. Someone is warming his food in a microwave. Wow. You don't have a microwave at home? Yes. Why didn't you heat it there then? I want to try this here. Oh. Martin is doing some Swedish thing called pytipanna, I guess? Yes. Oh. I think it's vegan. It's vegan pytipanna? Yes. Oh, great. You turn vegan? Yes. Oh, fantastic. So, Martin, you wanted to talk about if you say kex or shex, which is cookies. In Czechs say we from Boros. Hmm? We say that from Boros. So people, what do you say? Do you say Czechs or Keks? Everyone is going to say Keks, but I think Czechs is the correct. Maybe we will see. How very rude! I'm eating this. So people over there, people are swimming. This is a public sort of beach thing. It's not as crowded as it usually is. We think people are on vacation, right? Vacation. I think they are on Gotland, an island in Sweden. Okay. And you are going to go into the water? Yes. 
I think I'll take a photo of you, a film of you in slow motion when you dive. But, but I'm not gonna dive. Okay. Hi, hi. So people, I'm about to jump into the water. Is it cold? No, it's nice. Oh, shut up. Oh, look at that boat. Look at it go. Oh, and look at the other one. So I've been here. He's already packed and on his way, I don't know. I sort of missed the cues. So I'm gonna pack up now. Now we're gonna to go to Martin's boat because he needs some um, advice. Advice. Swedish word, advice. <laughs> so people, there's nothing left of me and my stay here except a wet spot. Let's follow Martin to his boat. This looks quite dangerous, right? Here he is on his little boat. Have you named the boat yet? No. Damn it. How oh, very stupid. Don't know what he's doing. So Martin is doing mechanical things with his fingers. I think that's called a slow screw. Martin is looking for a wrench. He can't find it, so he's going to go home to his apartment, which is five minutes away. Depends. Close. Five minutes? Yes. Yeah. So uh, I will be sitting here, sunning myself like mad, like a crazy person would. Yes, I am covered in SPF, so never mind. So let's see a nice jog. Oh, that's him jogging. Masculine things using metal things. So, what are we doing? We're organizing my boat for the big trip tomorrow. So, this is stuff that needs to go, we sort of take it everything think, out we, of I think we need to clean it in there. Yes. And um, yeah. Do you have any cleaning supplies? Yes. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, here is getting soapy water. Oh, we lost him. Oh, there he is. Should I take the bucket? Yes. So I just told Martin, instead of keep on trying to clean it, he just sells the boat and buys a new one. Yes. Often people get new boats, they're clean. Just, oh. <laughs> that water. That's the boat. So people, Martin is doing stuff with rope. So people, it's time for me to say goodbye. We sort of totally clean part of the boat. Yes, and you're really pleased, right? Thank you very much. Yeah, that's the thing. Thank you, thank you. Again? Thank you. Thank you. People, it's time for me to go because I need to go to the Stenblaget, which is the government run liquor store here in Sweden. I need to buy tequila and pimps. Hopefully, if there's no queue. If there's a queue, I just said, fuck it, I'll drink. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Goodbye. Don't try to stop me, Horace, please. Wave your little hand and whisper so long, dearie. He's so embarrassed. He dresses like that and then he's easily embarrassed. Hmm. Okay, people, there's no queue at all. Well, maybe we stopped Corona queuing. I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have some. Oh. oh. I need rosé because I'm gonna make rosé. Well, it couldn't be better, could it? Rosé, tequila, and pims. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, I have frozen rosé, uh, 3.75 deciliters of rosé, because I will be making a rosé later tonight, this evening. But now I am Googling sort of, I found this place, so nine pims cocktails to elevate your next summer party. And who doesn't need an elevated summer um, I don't know which one to make though. I will be making one or maybe two or maybe more. Oh, this one. No apple juice. I haven't got uh, no lemon juice. Oh, God. There's so many. This one looked easy. Lemonade. So, what the fuck is lemonade? I mean, if you buy it, is it orange soda? Lemon soda? Or is it just, I don't know. What is lemonade? Yes, yes. What is lemonade in Australia? What's lemonade in English? What is lemonade in juice and soda? So yes, yes, I want to know. I think lemonade, I decided, is lemon soda. So I need to go and buy lemon soda. Sparkling lemonade. Yeah, need to be bought. Need to go to the store now. It's Friday and then I come home and I have a nice pimp. So what, what should I do? Should I sort of, yes, I'm gonna put it in the fridge so it's cold. Uh, join me as I go shopping. Would lemon Fanta count as lemonade? Would it? Would it? Well, would it? God damn it, I think I found the answer here. Yeah. Lemon, sparkling, refreshing, and also this one. So, damn it. It is Friday after all, said he who's just about to sort of drown in cocktails. So, when I look at it, the ingredients. Uh, a carbonated lemonade, it says here. Okay. So, uh, looking at it here, it looks like a sangria almost. It's a mint, cucumber, oranges and strawberries. So, this makes four and I'm, I'm going to make, well, one large instead. So, this recipe calls for ice, pims, carbonated lemonade, mint leaves, cucumber, oranges and strawberries. I've got frozen strawberries. I'm going to use that. Some cucumber, mint leaves, and all the other... Well, the only thing I'm not going to use is an orange, so... So, in this big jar, I'm going to add a fistful of frozen strawberries. Some mint leaves that I sort of... It said a sprig of mint, but I don't listen to that. So, I sort of muddle them. And now some cucumber. Do I have any cucumber? Yes, I have. S just some slices of it. This is not what you think. This is to keep it fresh. In goes the cucumber. Some great big chunks of ice. And now the most important. I'm going to start with the cheapest one if, in case I don't like it. So what? It's going to be one deciliter of this and three deciliters of this. So I read up on what pin is. And it's sort of herb infused uh, gin to me it sort of tasted like Jagermeister or something like that and we all know what lemon fun is, right so people as they say in Casablanca or they sort of say it this could be the start of a wonderful friendship doesn't look that appetizing but oh, but it tastes good
Mm. I'm now mixing weights. Again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I have to thank Grims Tovra, who got me on to. I met her at the shops and she's starting talking about how I used to make all those cocktails. And she said, I'm making pimps. And I asked her, what's that? I already feel it's doing me the world of good. How much? About 25%. How much is it in vodka? Oh, 37, so not quite as strong. So how much is it in wine then? How much alcohol? Oh, 14, so yeah. Fantastical. I might get cut to me in a couple of hours going. Hello, people. I am. Um, I, my, I think I'm sick of fever or something. Yeah. People, this is me saying, have a nice trip to Ulf. This is Ulf, by the way. This is me. This saying. is great lighting, by the way. Also, uh, I hope you have a fantastic time in Italia. Me too. So people, I just uploaded a video from last week to today. Please like and comment because it really helps the Instagram algorithm sort of realizes how if someone sort of just tap like or write a comment or whatever and they sort of, oh, he's getting feedback. Maybe he's doing something right. And I get so happy. I am also doing the same thing on my YouTube channel. No checks complete, no issues found. So I am going to post it. If you haven't, check out my... Oh, yes, please check out my YouTube channel. It's Joachim Clifton Barryman. Please subscribe because I need subscribers there because it's, um, I don't know, it's a ghost town over there. But I upload a lot of videos to it. And I also upload longer videos to my YouTube channel, especially uh, Swedish Word of the Day. By the way, today, three years ago, I started work at that musical Sorsli Himmelen at Oskarstjotten. Three years ago today, it's in the middle of the summer. Madness. Did any of you see it? I'm going to sort of put the link to it the first day at work. So if it'll be in the next clip. Meanwhile, I'm going to ask if any one of you saw it. Did you see it? Did you? In today's episode, how do you do interwebs and web welcome? I've been up since six o'clock, now it's almost eight. I've been writing, packing, showering and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so vain. Anyway, I know you're wondering, what did he buy? Damn it, he can't just sort of not tell us. So, here's the first thing. It's a flower pot. It's a flower pot. And it's a crocodile. Today is so I had plans to make that rosé, which is frozen rosé, and sit out on the balcony, but it's not really warm. Well, let's go. I have a feel. No. No, I would nef definitely need a sweater. And I mean, if I'm drinking something almost frozen, it will be, <clears throat> but for your sake, because I know you people out there want to see me drink more charming cocktails. I am gonna make one and have a nice long hot bath instead. Weird, weird. But I'm gonna do that for you people. Yes, so what you work him make a frosé. Okay, so you start by drawing a really hot bath. Then you put your iPad on a stool next to the bathtub. And then you take out your mixer. Usually you take out your blender, but in this case you take out a mixer. Because I think it's this is so much easier if you're blending something like slush. Into it you pour three tablespoons of lime juice. 
one, two, three, and then you pour in about one and a half deciliter of simple syrup. And simple syrup is really quite easy. It's uh, two parts sugar and one part water, and then you sort of heat it up till the sugar dissolves, and then you cool it down. It's really easy to make. Now we need to add one deciliter of vodka. If I said one deciliter of vodka, I meant half a deciliter of vodka. And I'm not even drunk yet. This is, of course, to add alcohol, but it is also so that the, the alcohol in this doesn't freeze when you start whisking around the next thing that we are adding, which is 365 milliliters of the 375 milliliters of frozen rosé. Frozen this in a Ziploc bag because it's easier. And the alcohol in the wine doesn't really turn it into ice, more into slush. And that makes it easier for us to blend or mix. Here we go, people. In it goes. On goes that. This made two jars and I'm putting one jar next to me in the bathroom, in the bathtub, and one jar goes back into the freezer. Hopefully it doesn't freeze, it just tastes really, really cold. Now it's time for a taste test of some frosé. I wish it was. I, I would have added some sort of... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh God. Oh yes. This is lethal. God, it's good. Mm. They should serve this at McDonald's. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.